grow up struggling and I'm glad that I didn't All the tough guys broke or they dead in prison I avoided the felonies and slipped through the cracks I went to jail for domestic back and ain't going back All my diamonds is hidden, you know my gold is real I put my soul on the line, you know my gold is real I'm more than average on the road to high value Shout out to AMS and pick up the Kevin Samuels Alright man you too, what's the deal? This your boy Prince Doc. You watch Cruiser with Prince. If you're brand new to the channel right now, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications for every time I drop. You'll be the first ones to get it. Smash that like button, comment some cruise tips. You know what I'm saying? Like we can help you out with it in the future. Flight tips, vacation tips. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Stop watching my motherfucking videos and not subscribing. You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another episode on the truth, the black man's truth, on what's going on in Columbia, Medellin. Now, we're going to get to a part that I know that everybody want to hear. It's not the main part, because I know the main part everybody want to hear. But this part, I saved your motherfucking ass. This part, I saved your motherfucking ass. I could have added it on to the first motherfucking episode. I could have added it on to the first episode. But you know, I need to say some of that teeth right now. Tea time. I had told y'all that death was one of the biggest uh, crimes that they had out there in Colombia, in Medellin. Something that my fellas need to be worried about, and this goes with uh, any culture, any race that you are. You know, uh, they got people that's drugging people. Yeah, they drugging people in Medellin, Colombia, bad, man. You know, it's been several reports, several police reports, you know, uh, of people waking up not knowing what the fuck just happened. Uh, people waking up with all of their motherfucking materials out their room stolen. People waking up with all their shit out their safe gone. Phones gone. Desk, laptops gone. Uh, passports, credit cards, IDs. Just woke up. Or nothing. And you're wondering, like, how the fuck is they doing this? How is they drugging people in Colombia? And who is doing the drugging? So it's not uh, the guys, obviously. It's the females. They are drugging people. It's a drug that they got. I don't even know. If you know the name of the drug, comment it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna do all the research like i say when i talk about these things i'm talking about experience you know uh from what i've heard while i was there or being there you know what i'm saying and and seeing post about this shit you know what i'm saying so from taxi cab driver telling you to be careful you know uh everybody they alert you that people be drugging motherfuckers out here real heavy you know, so it's some little shit they sprinkle on your drink. Whoops. They put this shit in. And not none of that Bill Cosby shit. You know what I'm saying? Quaylos and all that other shit. This is some whole other shit right here. You know, uh, they sprinkle a little bit of this shit up in your drink. Your beer. Your fucking hard liquor. Your shot, tequila, whatever you're drinking. They sprinkle that shit in your shit. In five minutes, you, you gone. You... You knock the fuck out. Either A, you finna go to sleep and wake up two, three days later. Or B, you gonna continuously keep doing things but have no memory of what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's leave you in like a zombie state. So somebody can be like, hey, uh, what's your password to your phone? And you would tell them, you know, not unconsciously. <coughs> what's the password to the safe? You would tell them, you know what I'm saying? And have no memory, recollection of what the fuck just happened to you and wake up with all of your shit gone. So I hear a lot of these people are on uh, the dating apps such as uh, Tinder and shit like that, that Latina love and shit. You know, uh, you, you set up to go see one of them people. They come out to come see you, sprinkle some shit in your shit, you, you're gone. And so is all your materials and shit. Now you're waking up the next day uh, calling the fucking police 
trying to figure out who the fuck took your stuff. That's why a lot of these hotels, they don't let you bring, uh, from what I hear, they don't let you bring people into their hotels without IDs, you know, because it's so bad of people getting drugged, uh, especially foreigners, you know what I'm saying? If you look like you got a little something, that's why I was saying on one of them other videos, don't be all flashy and shit. Don't try to make it seem like you got all this money because you're just making yourself a target. Them people going to look at you pinpoint your ass send a motherfucker your way and drug your ass so when you really in Colombia, you got to keep your cup your drink in your hand you got to be the one opening fresh bottles uh never leave your cup unattended like don't leave your cup at the bar and go to the bathroom and come back and drink your cup like that's stupid shit like don't do shit like that you know what i'm saying uh Somebody offer you a drink, make sure it's closed and sealed. Don't be taking no open drinks. You know what I'm saying? Don't be thirsty for some girl to be like, here, drink, 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 drink. And this motherfucker not drinking. You know why they doing that, right? They finna knock your ass out. Not punch you, but they finna knock your ass out with some of that dopamine shit. I don't know what the fuck they call it. I don't know. Some white shit. They sprinkling your drink and you're done. And they also got another way. They can just sprinkle it on your face blow it on your face don't don't tell me that I, this is what i hear they can blow some shit on your face and you turn to the zombie and shit some real true bio uh hazardous crazy shit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get the name of that shit Matter of fact, before the end of the video, I'm going to get the name of it and I'm going to plug it into here. But I can't think of it right now. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all could do more research on this shit yourself. You know what I'm saying? They can blow something in your face or they can just put some of the uh, shit like on a rag. You know what I'm saying? Or a little towel and just put it right over your face for two seconds. You wouldn't even know. You'd be like, hey, what the fuck? Now you walking dead and shit looking like this and shit. Going to sleep and shit. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. Because they drugging motherfuckers and stealing everything you got. You waking up with nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I heard reports of people waking up two, three days later. Be careful. Be on y'all P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself while y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't become no victim. And, you know, I roll with, I don't be on no stupid shit. Like when I go there, I, I'm with people who, Black Americans that's from the states that live out there now. So, you know, I ain't never slipping the shit. But you got to be on your P's and Q's, especially when you're using those day naps out here. Uh, when you going to bars and, and and it's all these girls around you and shit. Most of these girls are working girls. You know, what's a working girl, Prince? Next episode. All right, I promise I'll come back with the uh, name of that drug. It's called scolopamine. Scolopamine. It's also known as the devil's breath. Very big in Colombia and Ecuador. Number one drug used to rob people and make people move out their free will. It says true zombie drug. Y'all look it up. S-C-O-P-O-L-A-M-I-N-E. -E. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Scolopamine. You, you t <laughs> blow that shit on you, in your face, you're done for. Sprinkle that shit in your drink, you're done for. It's just getting your skin and your pores, you're done for. Putting on the rag, put it on your nose, you're gone. Scolopamine is also known as the devil's breath. It's a drug used in Colombia for the purposes of robbery. But there are a number of urban myths circulating about scolopamine. Reportedly, there are about 50,000 cases of scolopamine poisoning in Colombia each year. Each year, 50,000 cases. Motherfuckers is getting drugged. You look on YouTube, there's so many videos, and they say it's dangerous here. It's dangerous here. Be careful. It's dangerous here. That's what they're talking about. Getting drugged. But, you know, and this is an opinion right here. This shit can happen to anybody, but this is my opinion right here. If you look sweet, niggas gonna think you cookies. 
and that go and that go with anywhere in the world. If you look sweet, niggas gonna think it's cookies. For all the people that's not up on slang and what I'm and all that, let me let me break down what I'm trying to say. If you look like you can be taken advantage of, people are gonna take advantage of you. If you're walking around with Rolexes on and, and diamond chains and all this gold and it's real and these flashy clothes and flash all this flashy stuff, like I was telling y'all in the first video, you walk around looking like that, you's a target. And that's anywhere. I'm in Chicago on the south side. You understand what I'm saying? If you look like a lick, motherfuckers is going to hit that lick. So that's why I tell y'all, you know, blend in. Don't stand out. You know what I'm saying? Or else you might be a victim of getting drugged and getting treated like that. And you will hear plenty of people's cases on YouTube talking about these things, talking about these issues. You know, um, be on alert, man, when you're dealing with motherfuckers in Colombia, because you can be next off some of that dragon's breath. Me, personally, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big guy, you know what I'm saying? So, plus I'm, I'm hood educated, I'm street smart, you know. A lot of this shit I already knew before I found out about it, you know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be a little... Uh, Harder trying to play me on my son, but uh, I don't put myself out there like that. Prince, well, why you go to Columbia so much? Because I got veneers and I got to keep them clean, baby. <laughs> Cruising, subscribe. 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 Cruising, cruising with Prince World. Around the world, Prince. Who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit. Hit yourself and subscribe, bitch. Don't forget to like this. Platinum on that red tail. On my way to Diamond. Cruise around the world, Prince. Who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit. Hit yourself and subscribe, bitch. Don't forget to like this. Platinum on that red tail. On my way to Diamond. Cruising. Cruising the world, cruising the world, I'm cruising the world, cruising with Prince World. I'm running out of port, damn, we don't been here five times, dumped all of them blocks, boy, two watches for shit time. Hit the island, I'm fresh and said they tell that I'm green, go. I ain't gotta go find nothing, they know I want that end, though. Cruising me and we turn up, cruise with them and they turn down. Damn party like us, bro, they cool to see like old folks. My run runners, they pulled up, they who was that when we roll up? You cruising with Prince World, hit the cell for Prince I'm Cruising, cruising the world, cruising the world, I'm cruising the world, cruising with Prince World, cruising around the world, Prince, who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship, how to speak all that green shit? Hit the cell for subscribe, don't forget to like this. The world prince, who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit? Hit yourself and subscribe, bitch. Don't forget to like this. Platinum on that red tail. On my way to diamond. 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 Diamond.